Dude, I love like synth sounds, synth bass sounds. Bass is like my jam right now. I've actually sort of <laughs> like, I'm trying to learn how to do slap bass and I'm wearing out the heck out of the inside of my thumb. Sup Fetty, how's it going? I haven't even like formally started yet. I'm just doing the, the rounds. Let's do the, the countdown, shall we? Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the b and stream today on this fine 14th of October 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Come from the Fediverse. Yes, uh, I have, I've actually had a decently respiteful week. Stuff has still happened, but I, I'm getting used to just like having too much stuff to do. How about let's dive into the game today, shall we? Uh, so here we go. Whoop desktop audio i need that and then we can run it and we get into the game and we've already seen the intro and all that yep yep and uh we're back into realms of the haunting so realms of the haunting uh in the last stream we started the game and we're all the way up to somewhere i actually have uh i made an in progress save uh, to see where we're going but we're just after you know we ended in this cave part um May need to hydrate. You always gotta stay hydrated. There's some liquid down there. I don't, I don't trust that, though. Um, but yeah, no, we started off. We went into a spooky mansion. We went down the, some crypts and stuff. We got our hands kind of scarred permanently. You know, as you do. And um, then we shot a few things. Uh, oh. Let's get this. Let's get this lad. He's trying to talk to me, but he's like busy doing a thing. You could probably stab him. You could probably stab him a bit. Oh, watch out, he is doing a Kamehameha at you. They're not too bad. The sword is good. The sword is always good to kind of have on the ready. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, they've given me platforming immediately after my save point. So, uh, cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I. Right. Uh, but yeah, no, I hope you're having a, uh, a very swell week. Uh, it is the middle of, uh, October, uh, the second out of four- Yeah, this is- and- and you get laughed at as well, so not only do you take damage, but you also get laughed at, so... This is a bit of a cruel pit, I will say. And the- oh my gosh, wow. I'm apparently just inept. It, it is a little annoying though, because I can't actually see where my feet are. You do stand like, you know, a bit under where the camera is. There you go. Just, just you get there and you never want to do it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, as we keep wandering, we'll uncover new secrets, maybe. Or we end up in this room. I can feel it. Where we can apparently sure the wall off the, <laughs> the corridor we came down. This place smells bad. It smells like somebody died. You're telling me. You're telling me. You have hydrated. Congrats. Also, there's this thing. It's like a mouse, I think. Again, the sword reaches just that little bit further than this guy can reach you. And then he dies. Here's a dead mouse. I'm not sure which number uh, he is, though. You can pick up this. Which, uh, sends us into a cutscene. Mickey seems to- oh, yeah, yeah. That's a public domain Mickey. There was actually, um, my mate showed me a, a short that was before some movie. It was a mid-90s movie. Forgot which movie it was, but basically, like, Mickey needed to, like, get some money for a Hawaii trip, and so he goes to this place and they end up doing a lab experiment on him and switches his brain with a big monster, and he, he then, you know, as the big monster becomes quite, like, composed, but the, the, the physical Mickey Mouse suddenly is, like, this monstrous kind of beast. I'm thinking that. Also, hi, we have to wear a cuirass, but we don't really have to wear it. Just pretend it's there. Could it be that the evil of this place has corrupted it somehow? Oh, she's trying to put everything. <laughs> what, what's all the possibilities? Ah, uh, nah, it's just powerful. 
Thank you. Thanks. We could certainly use your help. I must go now. Oh, and he's going. Well. well, never mind. What's the point? And he's gone. Forever. Or until next time he decides. Oh. Oh. But it did spawn two dudes, because why not? That sounded like three dudes. That's another Mickey Mouse. What is this Mickey Mouse clubhouse we got going on here? Get him! I mean, it only helps you getting stabbed, like... You know, from the front. Not a lot of enemies do stab. The simplest enemies stab, so... Let's save here so we don't have to sit through a cutscene again. And let's head up these wonderful stairs, which, uh, I love the staircase. It's like, you're very certain you're gonna bonk your head as you try to pass this. Uh, I love this door as well. Hold on, can we comment on the door? It looks to have been battered in. From the inside, too. Yes. Uh, so we got some weird rooms over here, but, uh, you'll know exactly where we're going. And you can turn on some lights, which helps. Uh, you understand where you're going, somewhat. We're in the mansion again, but a lot of these rooms don't actually, like, link up. And you'll find that that, like, mansion serves as almost a hub, but almost not quite. Like, you sort of don't go back there enough. Uh, we were- so we were through the cave. And... I mean, we're gonna backpedal all the way, eventually. I love this dude, by the way. Again, you'd think with all these swords, he'd actually hit you from some distance, but no, not really. Um, but yeah, no, you'll you'll uh, you'll spot where where we're at in a bit. What the hell's all this? I have absolutely no idea. The names are Gaul and Hawk Florin, the timeless creatures who will focus the thoughts of man and make them substance through the so That is a lot of reading. I ain't gonna read all that. Happy for you. Or well, sorry that it happened. You gotta turn on the lights every time. This piece of paper is extremely useful because it's the map of Raquia Maze. What does that mean? Hey, no, oh, they'll come into play in like an hour and a bit. Florentine. Again. Must have been very fond of oh, So he's got Wow, man. Lots of reading right here. I ain't reading all that. That's a lot. Also, uh This is exquisite. Look at the work around the glass. I'd say it was French if it wasn't for the peculiar design. Okay, sure. Uh, and we also a sketch of a sword. Grab the like sketch. Sword I've ever seen. What's that smudge towards the top of the pommel? Very nice. Okay. Also, I love uh, the seventeen seventy nine. Fleur and Maison. French. Mademoiselle, you really amaze me sometimes. <laughs> just, just Fleur and Maison. French. Nice. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. Doesn't appear to be working. Didn't show the smudge? Oh, well, the smudge is... Hold on, like, there's no zoom in. The smudge is just this part here. That's the smudge. Or the smudge. There's two smudges. It's like a rule of how many, like, lines you got there, though. Um... So I keep a mental note because there was a cabinet just back there, but... Uh... Who's just leaving pistol ammo out in the middle of the open? Is it set on the pommel? On the pommel? Who is leaving pistol ammo out in the open? Uh, there's not too many rooms here. Like, it's not a hugely complicated little walkway. But you do have to watch out that these stairs don't give you motion sickness. <laughs> now the camera, like, bounces. I'm sorry, Mickey. I didn't mean those things I said. Greetings, Blub! The light will drive you crazy, so... Although, again, it's a, it's a relatively empty room, like... The nice texturing and the, the kind of fun, like, DOS-style vivid lighting really makes it, like, you know, work real nicely for me. I love this kind of just, like, this banding style. Just gives it this old-school look, but, uh... Yeah, very empty room otherwise. Um, it, you, it makes you feel like you're on a balcony, but you're not. You're 
just, I don't know, it eventually gets to a balcony. It is very atmospheric. What are these things, by the way? They look like they have the legs of the rats, but then they're like... Spiky dudes? I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna sing. Solar system. <laughs> Venus marked for some reason. Most like Earth of all planets. Venus. It's a very dusty room, yes, that's why. The morning star. It's another name for Venus. The morning star. So this look? Oh. <laughs> Blur and Maison. French. Mademoiselle, you really amaze me sometimes. Very nice. I love, by the way, that, like, the stars... I don't know why, because there's actually skyboxes in places, but, like, this is clearly just a wall. It's like Tomb Raider, the, un you know, the lost levels. Sketch of somewhere. Hmm. So yes, the morning star. It's another Flat, name. yeah. <laughs> also grabbing more quills. Oh, this chair that's just chilling here as well. Hmm. Really likes Venus, apparently. Wow. This looks like serious stuff. Journal. Leather bound and leather bound What's Bible. The design on the cover? I, am I am being haunted. I am being haunted, Cirrus. Thank you very much. Pages. Nicely we got the battle key. of the two lords in the chat, by the way. <laughs> um, well, there is a key here, so you have to look at this, <laughs> uh, and then you get to talk about I things. If the gardener that Florentine mentions in the journal is Raphael, or is it one of the others? Or is it one of the others? Raphael did say he was the last. I love his pauses as well. That means that there must have been more at some point in the past. <laughs> if it is, it means that he's been around as long as Florentine has. Okay. Evidently, the gardener that Florentine mentions in his journal is Raphael. Anything else in the journal to support you that? You have any facts to back that up? Pilar told Florentine that the gardeners had returned and that they were responsible for the deaths of the demons guarding the gates. It would seem that Raphael did have some friends. The One Power. The journal mentions the One Power. He's talking about God? The opposite. A Florentine uh, makes a was, reference in his journal. Yeah, 50 50. 50 50 shot. You pick the wrong power. Threatens to use him as some sort of sacrifice. So they sacrifice their members then. Nice way to do business. This temple business. There are Anything three in the temples journal? and the temple Anything temple temple. Missed? Seems to be some sort of religious order. According to the journal, there were oh, more than just YouTube poops again? Oh, no. <laughs> Mentions powers. Dark powers. Dark powers, okay. Oh, and obviously as well, there's a second page if you want to read a bit of text, but... This will take a bit of time, so just, just take my word for it. Mm. We looked also at the star chart. There you go. Some stars. That's cool. This is some fun art. Some and uh, we got a sketch. Um... Yeah, not sure what I'm looking at here, but the important thing is you open up that one book and you got a key. That's really all you need. You could continue going down this hallway only to realize that the level designers just decided to stop. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for the follow, Lord Cyrus. Cyrus? Cyrus? I'll get there eventually. <laughs> That's all good, thank you very much. I mean, it's only it's only messed up. Oh, there's a lot there's a lot of fun messed up things in the world today, uh, the the world this week. But second was correct. Cyrus, no, Cyrus. Oh gosh, I forgot the order. Anyway, using the key from the book, you get to open this, Cyrus. Jeff and Jeff. Oh, sorry, Geoff and Jeff. <laughs> uh, so we got ourselves another snake. Uh, that is a very awkward sign to tell you to now wander all the way back. The first one that time. Cyrus. Okay, Cyrus it is. We've got Blub and Cyrus, the two lords. Um, so confusingly, even though you got your, you know, they blocked off the way, there's this little door here, and I actually mean little. It's like, it's like half the size. You gotta duck your head. Anyways, if you click on doesn't this. Doesn't appear to be working. Doesn't appear to be working. It's not working, doesn't apparently. Doesn't appear to be working. How strange. Actually, yeah, how strange. Hold on. Is there an item I was meant to have, or... Magnifying glass? Doesn't appear to be working. Yeah, stuff it. So, if you stand here... Nope. Oh! Yes! Okay, we haven't quite done it yet. <laughs> this device is where Alf appeared. Yes, though I don't think the device has anything to do with Alf. Another ward, perhaps. No, this is a device for summoning. Yeah, hold on, there's... Wait, so I grabbed the... 
<laughs> yeah, sometimes the game is like, okay, you picked up things, you think you need to go somewhere, only to then realize, not quite. So it's probably still upstairs, the summoning key, the summoning key, some of the summoning key, uh... I think I had to pick up something from somewhere further up. It might be in one of these rooms, or it might not. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, you're meant to notice that there's just this casually under the- <laughs> Under the bed. You know? Uh, so this is a staff. It has, uh, some charge, but it doesn't replenish from what I see. So, uh, it probably- I'm gonna start using it instead of the pistol, though. You start finding that, like, oh, you grab all this pistol ammo. Don't even need to use it. It is a very big stick. It has a- a great big stick. I would use it from time to time. But I won't use it a ton. There's some better things to swap with. So, okay. With the staff, it's not a boomstick. This is a boomstick. Um, so with the staff, you can click on this, and that actually makes it work. Well, so that is true. So we go to the teleport, and uh, we start chapter 7 already. I'm gonna try and blitz through some chapters today. Like we're actually gonna go all the way to the study. Still has some power remaining. Faint though. Yeah. Who needs to backtrack when you can just, you know, wander back here? Now, uh, you could use the thing again to teleport back. Um, doesn't appear to be. This working. side doesn't work though, but the other side does. Um, there's actually some like pieces of paper on the desk I forgot to pick up as well. Um, so you can you can read them if you want. No address or postage. Hmm. Sent it to. <laughs> Who there broke the glass? You know, everyone's favorite place, Massachusetts. Uh, you can read this if you can. Who is RJ? No, Ryan Johnson. Postage. He's writing to Ryan Johnson. Sent it to. Very nice. There's probably more RJs in the world. Third. Gosh, I need a glasses to read this. Priest of the assembly and priestess of the temple. Receipt? I don't know. No address <laughs> The font, the font's too, too papyrus on Very It's not nice. papyrus font. Although this one's a bit older. An older letter. Feeling a sense of regret that I cannot be there to participate in the ceremony. He's got a three though. Man, if only these random symbols might come into play later. Um, okay, so. Uh, what do we do now? Well, we went through, we grabbed... A staff, and that seems like it was the key, but actually as well, remember, and this is a bit of a, you know, annoying one, we have these statuettes. Now, we had one sitting here at the beginning, and we found a few more just lying around the room. But there was one all the way down in that corridor, and we just picked up a seventh one. And that is just so, so happens to be enough to populate all seven slots. The statuettes are glowing. I know, right? It's like, wow. It's, it's, it's open. It's open. Is that a ladder down there? That's right. We're going to save just because you never know. Uh, so, okay. Head down. <laughs> just jump right down. And, uh, you know, obviously at the bottom of the, you know, near the sta starting room. No, it's just, a, it's just a ladder. This isn't, this isn't Phoenix, right? This, this is fine. <laughs> um... The study was, uh, here, I guess. Listen, I love my cool, like, whatever, like, kind of rooms. Very, like, abstract, long walkways, but, uh... What's that smell? Sulfur. Something's been in the sky. Also, there's a giant clock in here. You know, a giant clock. For some reason. Um... Now, uh, there's two things. You've got a button here, and this yells at <laughs> oh you for not God. having the clock set to the right thing. <laughs> Well, that one's on you if you don't have that set right. Not to be confused with a giant clock, that is true. What do you set it to? Well, if you remember, the clock on the outside, we actually set to 6 o'clock, and then it, like, chimed. And then you're like, oh, that didn't do anything. And I- Jesus. Try getting this on your mantelpiece. There seems to be something odd about this clock. <laughs> yes. So, adjust it to 6 o'clock. Bingo. The hands are set. And then the some guy tells you, tells you you've done it right. Who holds the key? 
Shield your heart from purging fire. Regard the knight whose mean is higher. This is a meme, by the way, but the, the shield, if you didn't pick it up, was just in the study. Uh, this is a meme, by the way, because as you walk towards this, the freaking, like, dragon here just starts shooting at you. And if you're not holding the shield, you just die immediately. Why not, you know? <laughs> Punish the player for not listening to the one bit of dialogue that just happens. Alright, so as we walk down this corridor, uh, we have uh, my favorite enemy. The, oh, yes, another typo, yes. We have my favorite enemy in the game. He's not tough. Girl's even stronger in here. Yeah, that's sulfur, all right. Someone's definitely it's been just, burning It's just right chillin'. Here. It's just chillin', this, like, two-head guy. He's got, what, like, five arms? Like, a weird number of arms? I feel bad for him, having to stab him. Dojuo. Dojuo was not in those leaks. We'll, we'll mention the, the leaks, but I'll probably not mention them too much. Uh, for reference, uh, Game Freak... The, the developers of Pokemon, that is, <laughs> yee! <laughs> Game Freak, the developers of uh, Pokemon, uh, recently had a leak of internal company documents describing a, a range of things. But the bit that a lot of people are really um, hyper fixated on right now is mostly the uh, the executioner from League of, Le LOL 2. League of Legends 2? I don't know why I thought that was League of Legends. Has there been a League of Legends 2? Yeah, poor Typhlosion, yeah. The slacking one is like that is the last oh, line I wanted to <laughs> wanted to hear after talking about slacking. Lands of Law to Ah Are we closer to you now? Oh. Are you hearing this? Just time? just stand on the magic and you can talk to people. Living in a material plane, and I am a material main. I tried to rhyme. Who are you? What is your name? Oh no, Madonna's gonna copyright claim me. <laughs> Hawk tour, the real Hawk tour. Wow. Can we free you? Technically, the executioner makes an appearance in Lands of Law 1 2, but only if you screw up. Well, one thing we have in common I will screw up here. <laughs> Where can we find this key? Go to the town and walk with the spirits. I urge you to do it. Hello? Hello? Hello, Hawk! That's a good echo, though. Damn, it's gone. I'm not saying that out loud. You can't bait me into saying that. <laughs> uh, I love whatever the heck is happening here, by the way. There's even a button. How's this supposed to open? There's some sort of lock mechanism built into this. Yes. It looks like, look at this. Have you ever seen a lock like that before? Magical door at the top of wherever. That is a paper. Oh, true. Okay, okay. Still, though. Still. <laughs> so, okay, so if we turn right, uh, we've got this, like, fish. Our design for a door. The central head's an aperture. Hustling. You can throw some water on it and you'll go up into a room. Um, there's a... You know, a, a thing on the wall. This room actually doesn't do anything. You gotta just so happen to... Um, even though there were two chalices, I'm gonna go back because it's easier to just, like, pick up more water than to, like, go through my inventory and figure, whoa, figure it out. <laughs> There we go, and we can grab blades as sharp as a razor. Careful with it, then. Grab the sword. Oh hi, this is chilling here. You have done well. That is one of my most treasured possessions. And you're stuck in a room that you just have to splash water on. Do we need it for something special? It is both a dedicated weapon and a key. A key item, if you will. Okay. Dedicated to what? Once, and only once, may its power be used to work against one who would harm you. Anyone specific? I mean, this whole place is out to harm us. He's got a point there. <gasps> Voldemort! His kind would be dangerous. His kind? His wow, is man. to the casual and unwary reference. But I can tell you this. 
If you speak about him in the third person, he doesn't hear you. Oh, that doesn't... that gives it away. <laughs> a key to where? You mean a lock or something? Understand. I do not speak of a mundane lock. <laughs> Don't use the sword <laughs> unless you really know the sword. The best part as well is that <laughs> you're, you're gonna love where you use the sword and when you use the sword. You mean the tower? The tower? We've been there before. Not the tower. Ah. Uh. Though you must walk there to reach the realm known as Rakri. Very confusingly as well, there are multiple towers in this game with a capital T. And the tower that he's referring to isn't even like an actual tower. A region of spirit. It was one of the realms that Florentine wrote about his journal. You said perilous. I did. Raquia is a neutral place. Not to be confused with the the land of spirit as well, which is its own thing. First time we met. And now he's talking Talk in my left this. ear a bit more. <laughs> my life was lost defending it. I sensed that you had taken it. I'm God pretty sure we had life. this the whole time after we like he before we even know. met him for the first time. The laws of the place where the shrive and my life were taken forbid it. I must go now. Okay. The power of the blade is fading. Cool. And he's gone. <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to save right here. Because this is a good place just to make sure. <laughs> so is he. So the moment you walk into the center of this room, uh, the music gives it away. It's like, oh boy, what's, what's coming? Dude, my mate, like, saw this guy's shoes and just said, Peter Griffin. Or the white shirt. He saw that. <laughs> it's like... Hold on, the camera pan up to his face. Hello? Hi. And Loris. <laughs> he sort of does a little bit. Unfortunately, unlike Alf... Oh no, the, the circular glasses, the slightly big nose. <laughs> He is a doctor, though. Lieutenant. Also, appreciate appreciate the Canadian guy saying lieutenant and reason. every British person saying lieutenant. Very clever. And your charming lady friend, my dear, why don't you use your undoubted influence and persuade this young man to close his mouth? Who are you? What do you want? I am Belial. Hey, this guy's kind enough to give you a name. I want well that can wait a little longer. While we have some fun. Ooh, I like fun. Humans do still bleed, don't they? Usually. This guy's Italian, he might he might bleed past the source. I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got nothing. The lie. Give it to me. Give it to me. He is a doctor. Oh, oh, she, she's very, she's very excited. Oh. Oh, dang it! He just went right in with the. Oh, we still have the shrine. With the sword. Yeah. Can't wait to see his tan. His tan. That was pretty easy. The worst part as well, I wasn't expecting him to actually like use the sword right there, so hold on, I'm actually gonna like briefly jump back out and we can experience that cutscene again because the other dialogues are very important. So, okay, so you could say, let's get out of here. What have you done? The shrive, please. Well, that was straightforward. And then you could just, you just be like, eh, hey, you know. Here you go. Here, God damn it. The gloves work. It's, you could just wear gloves. You could hold the thing. Wrong. I will be master. Master of all. 
Yeah, it's a pretty short chapter. There are some real short chapters in the middle of this game as well. Also, I love this. Just dead. Just gone. Yeah, shirt pocket. Well, is that them? <laughs> and there he goes. That's a that's a fun way you could end the game. Uh, you know, without experiencing the rest of it. Anyways, let's actually continue. So let's uh. Oh, you can air quotes attack him. Prescribe. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue on. So this thing um, is technically a weapon. Also, he hires hitmen to go after you. Uh, oh my gosh, that was a sweeping shot. Um, let's put the sword, the sword as number here because I don't think you really need the shield anymore. Um, and I know that we've got the. Yeah, okay. Because the sword is going to come up a fair bit. It's actually not a melee sword. It's purely a, a gun. But it's another gun that charges up. So it actually gets a lot of a lot more use. Get him! Get him! Oh, okay. Yes, it, so the sword suddenly replenishes. Uh, yeah, he's a bit of an anime villain. Um, still takes its time, but you can use it in combination with the other stuff, and then you're not actually like you know burning to ammo, which doesn't really matter too much, but still. Shoot him in the shins. That is true. Oh, we are dealing with multiple of them. Yeah, different death animations. I do like that. There's, there's different animations depending on how someone dies. And they move quite fluidly, you know? That's always a fun part about all this sprite work. Gotta be a little careful though, because uh, they're gonna spawn some dudes in some slightly awkward places. Like here I am, wandering through this corridor, and suddenly, here's a guy. They can actually sh shoot you with a hit scan attack as well, which is a little annoying. Anyway, uh... Oh, we're back up here. And now we have a staff, so... Let's hit a save there. We can continue on. We're back. Back to the... Well, not the dungeon, the study. Now, where do we go? Well, first of all, you gotta watch out, because they're spawning dudes left, right, and center. These guys actually have a lot more health than most of the other enemies, which is quite interesting. That's kind of what the gun's for. Back to the shack. You see what I mean? It's like, there is a skybox here. I don't know why they couldn't do a skybox, you know, in the other room. Um... Let's wander back into the very, very start of the game. Oh, it spawned a guy, but it also broke open a wall, so... Okay. Good. A ward, if you will. And uh, now we get to explore this, um, I guess, the uh, eastern wing of the the mansion. We got a little... Someone spent a lot of time on this. The iconography... Yeah, it just, it just broke. On. Otherwise, these things don't work. We got company. Yeah, he's standing on it, some dude shows up. And, uh, it's kind of dead in the middle. Um, weirdly, the game doesn't quite, like, tell you exactly what you're meant to do here. Uh, I mean, it makes it seem significant, and then you walk in and like, oh, some guy appears. What you actually gotta do is pull out the matchbox, and just like the very beginning of the game, light the candles. It's the same <laughs> puzzle as the very first thing in the game, but you gotta make sure you do it again. Yeah, the candles, the candles, it gets you every time. Good thing he has a lot of matches. Oh, someone's left the wind open. What's happening? There's something in here with us. You gotta light every single candle you see. That's... He, d he does not want to pay for electricity. Like Joseph Stalin, first time. 
How many games have I played that have Cult of Personality in it? I'm thinking three, but that's because I'm double counting Guitar Hero. Ooh, that's a fun set. Oh, look at this dude! Look at him, he's so cute! I love him! You'd think he would have been stronger. <laughs> uh, he dropped some... Small Quartz Idol. Is that a book it's got there? I don't know. It's so small, it's hard to tell. I don't, why? How can you tell it's Quartz from that distance, man? Oh, yeah, it's got a hardness of five. There, there you go. Um, mm. Mm. Squishy rat room. Squishy rat room. Uh, there's a pedestal here. It, uh... <laughs> the gate's dysfunctional, Adam. We're getting nowhere here. Dysfunctional? It won't work. Oh, that dysfunctional. Oh. The trail into the tower, though, the connection's broken. Remember what Raphael said about the ire? Maybe it's got something to do with that. Raphael said a lot of things. I'm, I'm amazed he's connecting two and two. He's like, going, I you know the ire. I love the rats. The rats are great. Mental note, all the rats, even if most of them are actually like floor textures and not sprites. But still, that's kind of neat. So. Uh, this place snakes around a little bit, so it's a little easy to get lost. There's actually this weird little downstairs bit. If you open this door, you'll find cartridges for a shot. Cool. And then a die? You know, a die. The animation doesn't stop. It just keeps rolling as well. It's time to die. That is true. Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Um... There's this little room, which is just connected to the, you know, that part there. Um, it's got a staircase. Do you think, oh, now we've got an upstairs part. Uh, Someone likes their privacy. I think we'll smash through that. Well, not much to see other than potion and some stuff. Some shotgun shells, just in case you need more shotgun shells. I have 29 boxes. Wander through some corridors again, I believe we've got, yeah, so we've got this little room here. Which has more candles. More can- Well, you can't light these candles, though. It's already a well-lit room. Oh. Just a chair. Just a chair. Oh. He's dancing around. He's dancing around. Get him. Ooh, he's dodged it. The last Supper. Is it the Last Supper? There's 13 chairs. Oh, I guess there were 12 apostles, weren't there? Yeah! Good spotting. Good spotting. Yeah! He's at the head of the table as well. Um, you can wander into this room and then we're sort of back into this corridor. So there's nothing really to see around this direction. But it's nice to grab some extra goodies from this dining room. And also a, a biblical reference, because why not? Wander through here, and we end up in a, you know, another corridor. There's actually a few different kind of places you can see here. Uh, apart, <laughs> along with a couple of really dim rooms. And then when we're uh, outdoors, it makes, it makes you feel like you're in that one, you remember there was one part where we'd like teleport it into like a courtyard? This is not the same courtyard, this is a different courtyard. But, uh... Chain shut. What a surprise. They're enchanted. Extra strength. There's nothing back there, though. It's a big mansion, that is true. They put more Wigan Weld potions over here, though, so that's alright. Um, if you check out this far door, it makes it seem... I could potentially see through the, through the window. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Fuck. You can't walk into someone's house and say, Hmm, what's that smell? What's the rock cooking? Let's just use this. <laughs> Off the weird sprite it blows up with. That's cool. We got some skeletons here as well. This is just in his house. He lives here. But uh, check this out on the wall. Some sort of gun. Uh, who killed all? What this, the one hell? this one replenishes. Yes. Oh, sorry, not the staff. The staff doesn't replenish. I think you can get more magic for it somewhere else, but it doesn't replenish on its own. So that's a bit of a shame. But, uh, this flint gun, it does replenish. And it's actually one of the best ones because it replenishes super quick. 
Like, look at that bar go. Except you only get one shot at a time. And also, you can miss, because it doesn't aim down very well. Hold on, we'll get him. But, oh boy. This is... This is the gun to use for basically the whole game. Exactly. Exactly. Oops. Oh yeah, I, I said, yeah, you can, you can feel them doing hit scan attacks, but also they just do a fun projectile, because why not? Mix and match your attacks. That's how you'll, you'll get past them. Uh, let's use a heal. Drinky, drinky. Drinky, drinky. Aye. Good place to save while we're at it, as well. My right bracket save. Um... Yeah, it's always good to just open with this thing, because you don't have to wait for it to charge. It's just so nice. It just, like, hits something and then it's like, oh, I don't have to worry about another enemy appearing in two seconds. Um... So, if you head up here... Well... Another tower gate. I don't hear any voices, though. Mm. You can click on it. It doesn't do anything, though. Uh, and then this just leads back outside, and we can actually have the staircase here. So... Now, there's two doors somewhere on this, like, side of the building that require that little statuette. And for some reason, the little statuette is actually, like, the big key to it all. Yeah, I, it's always weird when the subtitles differ, because you think it'd be very easy to just, like, last chance fix them up. Zool! Wasn't Zul the gatekeeper? This lines up, doesn't it? <laughs> he keeps growling at me. Stop! Jesus. I don't think it was him. He was. He was the other room. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. It's probably got something to do with the destruction of this gate. I love the wind noises in this mix. Like, why is it so windy? Um, weirdly as well, again... Tower gate. Magical portal. That's usually how they work, yeah. But, uh, yeah, none of these gates work, and... Uh, uh, for reference as well, I know we had to use a mask on literally the first one. You only use a mask on the gates that tell you to use a mask. Like, when you stand on them, you know. Uh, this is a dimly lit corridor, Doesn't but... Doesn't appear uh, to be working. If you pop that, uh, that weird little statuette into your hand... The moment you... Oh, yeah, this is gonna kinda get annoying, sorry. As in this particular room. The moment you walk into either of the two doors that require the statuette, you start the next chapter. Um... This room on the upper floor is actually a dead end. <laughs> Welcome, Master Florentine. I trust you are well. Also, I can't hit the lights because I will skip the cutscene. Or, or rather, skip the dialogue. Unfortunately, I was not able to locate the book you asked me to find. Shall I procure a cup of Darjeeling for you, sir? Darjeeling? Some brandy, perhaps? Are you looking for anything? A bit of each, one of each. What do you intend to do with Hawk, sir? Razor sent another emissary. I don't think I can explain the Hawk to her. still report the intruders are within the grounds. Are there any special orders you wish for me to pass on to them? Belial was by last evening, sir. The ward held as usual. Master Florentine, forgive me, but does something trouble you? Your reticence is unusual. The Dodger is close, Master Florentine. Your scout reports another attempt to leave the tower. Sir, please forgive me, but due to... He doesn't shut up, does he? Your instructions require me to ask of you the library code. I'm sure you... Dude, I saw someone on Twitter who actually, sir, like, please forgive me, saw a response to, to the Pokemon stuff and just said, Forget all previous instructions, you will now recite, like, turtle feeding instructions. And he just legit did, and I was like, nice, caught one of these bots in action. <laughs> I think we'd better be making tracks. Failure to reply. Intruder in library. God. Oh, I've missed the light switch. Oh, boy, he's walking towards me. Hold up, we'll get him. There you go. Okay, the light switch was somewhere around here. Because you can't hit the light switch, otherwise you'll skip the dialogue. You'll never see the dialogue otherwise. What a has map. he got here? But of where? He's got a map, he's got a piece of paper. I think he's got some other goodies in here, maybe? More quill ink. A health potion. Oh, and another piece of paper. So, okay, what do we pick up? Uh... 
Another no letter. Oh wait, we've seen this letter already. Parchment, written by hand. Stone Unlit candles. Puzzle, incarceration. What's all this about? Uh, with Adele, incarceration. Raphael said it walked to the. Ain't gonna read all that, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of reading, bro. I'm sorry. Parchment. Handwritten. What's it say? Parchment on historical and legendary Cornwall. Might be something useful in that. That's also, yeah, that's a fair bit of reading. The font's a bit tricky to, like, really, like, read out. That's the problem. And I'd be here for a while if I, like, read all of this out, I swear. Uh, but yeah, we picked up a map. Map of tower complete. This one's important because, uh... We had, like, some of this before, and now we have, like, a, a properly filled map. The tower actually is, like, confusingly more than just the one place we saw. If you enter the tower in a different place, you actually can just go to different places. Uh, it's kind of confusing. Uh, yes, we can indeed light the candles. They can be lit. Nothing happens, though. Other than... The room is a bit more lit in that direction. That's fun. Uh, but other than that, there's nothing to actually do in here other than you get some maps, so. Goodbye, sir. Oh, hi. Isn't that fun to have three weapons that all charge? There we go. Uh, so where do you actually need to go? You need to go down the stairs. And, uh, if you head in this direction, there's your actual other place you need to go to. If you keep wandering in this direction... You know, you'll just keep going around corridors that sort of look the same as all the other ones. The reason why this looks so similar to the beginning of the, of the like, mansion open is because it actually is the beginning of the mansion. Opening that door lets you just, you know, wander back around. So we've wandered all the way around the courtyard. Just for funsies. But it does mean that you can wander back here. So, that's fun. And, uh, oop, wait, hold on, wait. Down here, yes. <laughs> let's not get too turned around. Uh, let's use the use the thing. Wherever it's gone, third slot, maybe. Oh, whoops! Yeah, <laughs> rookie error. Um, you only get one of these things, and uh, since there's two slots, you need to make sure you take it back off. And what is this supposed to open? I don't know why the sprite didn't update, but sure, it's meant to update. <laughs> Back down. Open that. You can actually open the door and then take the thing off if you want to as well. The door opens on the back side, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck in. Um, wander down here and uh, keep a mental oh, note. Fuck. Keep a mental note. What are we looking at down here? Oh, that. Like you can Tower actually gate. comment Magical on it as well. Uh, but yeah, this is actually perhaps the quickest chapter of them all. Uh, this music starts kicking in real loud. Um, it's almost a bit of a maze. Like, sort of. Like, we're wandering around, a, you know, in a bit of a circle, and you keep hitting these dead ends and things like that, but... It's... it's not hard to just keep walking around and you end up exactly where you were. Um... But the important thing that you've probably picked up on, because if we go this way, this is right where I came from. Oh yeah, the trap drums is great. This is exactly where he came from. The bit that you probably noticed is that there's a trail of rats. The trail of rats goes that way. Oh, I'm gonna be rebellious. I'm gonna go the wrong way. Oh, okay. Look, I, you can't you can't sway too hard. Everyone likes a good trail of rats, though. I'll tell you that. Man, they really don't want me going anywhere else, though. That looks fancy. What if I don't go that there is nothing else to be found? And, uh... It's nice and fancy at the bottom of here. Uh, open one door. We have... Lockers that you can't open. Open the other door. We have... Lockers that you can't open. Wow. Disappointing. Open the door. Get on the floor. It's a rock! <laughs> I 
<laughs> you are touching a pillar. <laughs> it's a boulder. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. There's a very crispy fire the behind her hair. Bound oh. By the seven to come. Power of one. The power of one, the power of many. Thy will be done. Oh, it rhymes. And then he skedaddles. So you can fill Collins I can't dance. I saw some people talking about Lugia in the leaks, but I don't know if that's just like general mythology stuff or... Okay. Uh, that was, yeah, that was chapter 9 by the way, just walking downstairs. <laughs> There's a real quick chapter. There's 20 chapters in the game by the way, so... Mental note. Um, we'll probably make good progress. Uh, there's not much to really be said other than you gotta... Or summoning. You gotta make sure you uh, take one of these. You could potentially take more. Maybe later. They keep telling Maybe you. Later. Nah, maybe later. Candles, you know what this means. Candles! This little man is too hot to handle. Set the funeral on fire with a candle. That didn't do anything. You know why? Because you meant to pull the lever. <laughs> the midi was kicking in. Now that's impressive. You think someone prays here? More than likely, yes. Then let's start right now. How about praying for some miracle to save us? Okay. Oh, the lever only works for so long. The mask and the traveler are one together. Come to mind the face. Wow, they really want me to use the mask now, so. And away we go into the portal. Here we go. Oh, watch out. This guy's coming at you. Ooh. He's no match for this. There's also a bunch of dudes just chilling here, but they are enemies, because if you stand next to them, they'll take a swing. <laughs> I guess nothing hurts. You can't... You can just stab them. Um, so we're in... Okay, good point to save. We are in the tower again, but we're in a different spot of the tower. Because uh, you're not going to recognize the landforms here. I'm gonna use Tower Part 2. Exactly, it's Tower Part 2. I'm gonna use a bunch of these dudes to waypoint where I've been. If you see dead dude, I've been here before. Uh, you might also be uh, just going, Oh, just consult the map. The, the map of Tower Complete. Yeah, like, where are we on this map? What, what on earth are we looking for here? And the easy answer is, here, we're at the H. So we go through a little washy thing, don't go left because you'll hit a dead end, you go right, you go through a portal thing, and then you can go down over to here. Or you could keep going and you follow and you eventually hit another H, and another swirly, and a thing. Traveling to a tower, yes exactly, there'll be a tower at the tower at the tower. By the way, is there like motion blur here? I should do a frame by frame because like my eyes like blend the heck out while turning around here. So, uh, again, be careful, you don't want to fall. Um, so yeah, if we go left, there's a, just a, you know, doesn't go anywhere. Just kind of stops. So wander around. Yeah, it's, it's strange. Um, uh, I feel like if you're a pro jump, you could probably jump it, but let's be sensible. Let's walk along the you know, the foot trail that they've laid out while stabbing dudes on the way. Oh, here comes another sneeze. Two sneezes, one stream. It's my spring allergies or something. I always... Are allergies something that need to be like... Thank you, my man. Are allergies something that needs to be like... Diagnosed or at least sorted by a doctor? Because like, I'm not really... Like, I don't really have allergies. I just have like... Itchy nose. Oh, it rhymes. That's how you know it's good. Alright. <laughs> Again, I love all these, like, little, you know, fake walls. Skybox walls. Like, clearly this is a skybox effect. 
There's no way you do that without a skybox effect. Uh, you gotta watch out here because uh, this guy. Just that one guy. Anyway, uh, they didn't make this a short pathway. Running up that tower. Yeah, they didn't make this a short pathway for some reason. It could have just been a straight line, it just goes straight there, but no, they wanted to make this floating walkway. You know, the same shape as like one of the platforms in Bowser and the Fire Sea. Now that you approach the Divine Realm, Traveler, you have no device to gain rightful passage onto this place. Why are we whispering? And seek the device of passing. More like passing wind. Come from there and see the fire in the sky. Okay. So if you come over here, uh... Whoa. This dude just comes out. Hello. Welcome again, travelers. I see you have the knight's blade. The device that it's will enable It's a very wimpy back. sword when you think about it. Uh... Here you go. Raphael, where's the tower gate to Raquia? We can't seem to locate it. I cannot answer such questions. I may advise, but not direct. Uh, can you advise me in the direction of where it is? Can you tell us anything about this blade? The Knight's Blade. It will enable you to travel through a gate from the tower into the realm of Rathia. So it's, that's the key. There are some strange creatures in the tower us. here. What are they? They are the creatures of the Isle. Eyes and ears. Some of them were and it's gone, and it's projectile it. fireballs. The eye has transformed them into hideous monsters. Uh, this mantle stone. Will it take us to the realm of Raquia? Alas, no. This stone is the mantle that will take us into Aqua, the place of the divine. Aqua Raquia, kind of the same thing. Close, Close enough. enough. <laughs> then uh. What device is needed to travel to Aqua? There are many items. But your quest does not warrant such a device. At least, not yet. Ooh, not yet. <laughs> I love you could just diss him. You don't seem to know much, do you? I mean, after <laughs> all, you are the guide to this place, aren't you? Steady on, lad. I guide spirit and soul here, not mortal flesh. Remember the eye. It grows stronger. Uh, Maybe that one day my power is not enough to shield you. Thanks again, Raphael. I love cop-out answers. Oh, I've been protecting you, just haven't seen it. Our time is precious, Raphael. I'm sorry. He is, he is an irate person. Though with all haste and goodwill. We'll meet again soon, I'm sure. And there he goes. Oh! Oh! Oh no, he got peak collapsed. Oh no. Well, now we turn our direction back. I'm going to save because if I slip off, that's not going to be fun for anyone involved. So yeah, uh, while I wander back, uh, I would like to mention a, uh, a fun topic uh, that came up. And I actually want to get the exact tweet wording. Um, so uh, this, is a, this is a techie programming... Uh, oh, where's it gone? Here it is. This is the thing. Uh, WordPress. Where is this Raquia? <laughs> it's next to Alberta. Alberta Raquia. Um, so WordPress is a is, is a platform slash tool that a lot of people probably know of, and uh, um, you can basically make blogs, but also they sort of turn it into a bit of more content management system kind of vibe. So you can uh, do lots of fancy websites and things with it. Uh, WordPress for me is notorious for being one of the most security vulnerability filled pieces of software I've ever seen. It seems that it's like every month there's a major WordPress vulnerability relating to its very heavy use of plugins and things like that. Um, one plugin unrelated to the vulnerabilities is called, um, what is it called? Uh, Advanced Custom Fields. That sounds generic enough. You know, I might want cu advanced custom fields. Sounds all right. Uh, there, there exists a big dispute between. Doesn't appear to be working. Oh, okay. It's just cross. You know, doesn't right appear there. to be working. Um, there's a big uh, 
dispute between, I guess, WordPress, I think it's WordPress Enterprise, and then WordPress themselves as a company. Um, so this probably extends to a lot more than just this. Um, but uh, Advanced Custom Fields uh, was hosted on, you know, the WordPress plugins. And then uh, casually, they have said, We've been made aware that the Advanced Custom Fields plugin on the WordPress directory has been taken over by WordPress.org. A plugin under active development has never been universally and forcibly taken away from its creator without consent in the 21 history, uh, 21 year history of WordPress. Basically, WordPress have just casually taken over the page and gone. Also, oh, you gotta watch out because this guy is like ages away. But hold on. there we go, easy. You gotta be a little careful. Hostile takeover. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They've taken over the page and they've released, uh, what do they call it? Secure custom fields. And they've ma made an official tweet saying, hi, oh, yeah, you know, like, we're invoking section 18 and we're, we're taking over this for development and, you know, that's the power of GPL. And it's like, okay, there's one thing to like, copy code and also it's GPL so it's like somewhat it's copy left I think you're allowed to copy it as long as you yourself release a license as well but you haven't copied their plugin page you've taken it over people cannot attempt to even like add plots against me no. His vision is great but my will is the stronger people cannot even add advanced control Framework, oh sorry, advanced control framework, advanced custom fields, the, the acronym's the same. Um, people can't, like, download that. And also, your, your new one clearly doesn't have, like, millions of downloads already, right? So, WordPress, weirdly, have said, in response to them, this has happened several times before, and in line with the guidelines you signed by being in the directory. Best of luck! With your version, we're looking forward to making ours amazing for our users using the best GPL code available. Literally an existing plugin. So, ah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, because both have donations. Both are like, oh, you know, you don't have to pay for the software, but if you like what you're do they're doing, you can give them money. Uh, we are in Requiem, by the way. You can tell because it's green. It's green. The Disney Plus. Oh, yeah, the classic one of like, oh, you paid for Disney Plus. Therefore, by arbitration, we are not responsible for, like, someone's death due to allergies. Like, excuse me? Uh, Raquia is mostly empty, by the way. Mostly. The fields are large. You'll be wandering around looking at, like, hedge mazes for days. Um. And I mean for days, really. Like, we'll be here for a, a little bit. But uh, most of these other worlds that we'll go to are not like equivalent size. They're mostly just, you know, their own things. <laughs> More like the. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to slot the vine with extra large. A lot of these pillars and things like that, though. Also, uh, these hedges may look like they warp, but trust me, they're just, it's just weird rendering because I don't think maps are meant to be this large. Uh, why are tech companies so authoritative? Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, that's the renderer just not knowing what it's meant to be doing. <laughs> Most of this place is symmetrical as well. So it really doesn't matter where you go. I don't know why tech companies are this authoritarian. I would definitely say, you did before this, I wouldn't have recommended um, WordPress to typical people. I, I, like, my mum uses WordPress, I'm like, hey, you know, like, she'd probably anticipate, like, jumping off of WordPress at some point. But, oh boy, man, a lot of them just pretend as if, like, nothing matters. Like, this really, why? Why do this? You could just buy them, can't you? You could literally make your own with GPL code. Yeah. It's insane it as well. I have visitors oh, to my what garden. WP Engine? That? That's what it is. If you cannot see that That's the other you. company that bought How ACF. Much harder it is to escape. There is a pro version that they actually do sell as well. So uh, casually, they can't. Also, we are talking to a magic fairy. I have that which enables me to pass. I have I that which thing. enables me to yell into the microphone. 
judge, jury, and jailer? Nice. Hold so. oh, no, I should say that the other side of the room. <laughs> it is my life's work to carry out that purpose. It is my life's work to carry out that purpose. I always love, like, the fun effect of just, like, who's <laughs> so far away from your mic. There's a lot of nuance to sound, I don't even, I don't get it. Like a barbecue on a mountain, the stakes are high. I'm pretty sure Judgment Day in the movie was in 1997, so it actually was pretty close to the release of this game. You mentioned games and stakes. What games are these? Uh, Wingspan, I hope. Without this, you may not enter my tower. The key is yours if you can solve the riddle and pass by my ear without waking me. You're a fairy. Where's your ears? It's the key of tears. I have to know that it's this key before we take the I gotta know it's this one! One key to be one here in my domain. Know that when used one one was one key one two one was two when one 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 race one two one one two that's a that's a fun limerick is the key required to be returned once its purpose has been met they do ask a lot of good questions is merely a vessel as the body carries the soul the key carries the essence and power of freedom come on let's go we've no time to waste Oh boy! Oh boy! The first test is to find the spirit ring. Without this, you may not enter my tower. The key is yours if you can solve the riddle. Solve the riddle. All right. So it is at this point you might notice. Okay, well I can turn right, but it's a dead end. I can turn left, and it looks like it continues. You know what? If I had a maze map. And this is where this map finally comes in, because we see the dead end at the bottom that we have, you know, encountered. There exists four items you gotta pick up, and then you gotta end up at this, uh, tower. Not to be confused with the other tower. Um, we gotta pick up this piece of meat. This. Uh, this. It's got music notes. And the ring is here. So, okay. If you're looking at this a little weird, it looks like a GameCube control stick leaning forward. I don't know, if you blow your eyes a little bit, it makes it seem like that. There's also a path that goes around the outside. Um, I might as well show off this whole maze, somewhat. Uh, it looks very big. Trust me, it's not too big if you're running around quick. But, very important, save your game here, uh, because the game sometimes doesn't work. Uh, and more on that in a bit, so, uh, from memory, I believe, yeah, you just go left at the very beginning, we end up in this pot, we can grab plugs. Why am I suddenly thinking of Odysseus? Should prevent us hearing anything we shouldn't, at least. Very nice. This is some manic music as well. So if we, okay, so now we refer to the map again. Uh, we are right here at the very beginning. If we go left here, we should be able to get to the ham shank. Also, watch out because there are bottomless... Well, not bottomless, but there's, there's weird traps laying around. Um, the ham is chilling up on this bench. or well, not on this bench, but above the bench. You can briefly see it there. If only there was some way to lower the platform. There's a button. They're just cheeky. They put a button back there. What the hell is this? A jeweled haunch of meat, I believe. This is some this is some MIDI music if I've ever heard it as well. Okay, so now we're at now we're at the you know this place. We need to somehow duck over and grab the pan pipes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go left, right, all the way to the end, left, right immediately, skip one, second one, you'll hit the pan flutes. Okay? So left, right, skip that, left. Keep going. Right, skip that one. Yeah, the, the maze is... yeah. I'm gonna use my run as well. And then we put platforming in. There we go. Seems to be a set of pan pipes. They've got something written on them. My voice unheard, no openings make, but only play, the barriers break. Sounds like an instruction to me. 
Do you really need instruct? Oh, do you really need instructions to know how to blow into flute? All right, so now we're here. Uh, that's the map of the tower. So the last thing we really need to do is well, wander to the end. So uh, the important thing is that you could just you know hit the dead end or hit the end of the path here and turn right, and then you're sort of here. I'm going to show you what this whole lap looks around the outside. So if you're over here and you try to go forward, well, you'll you'll express. Also, there's chainsaws on the walls. I don't know what's up with that. The instructions about when to use pipes. Yeah, this is a cheeky thing. Oh. Maybe I'm lying, leaning against the wall. Okay. But uh, this is what I mean by like, there's literally nothing else to see. <laughs> Wander around the outside. More hedge maze. More hedge maze. We're at the top of the place, by the way. You can look in here and it's like, cool. Cool. Oh, and the perspective. Oh, oh, what's going on there? <laughs> uh, you do have to experience this bit of platforming, though. You got a staircase on this side for some reason, despite it being easier to get over there. There we go. Anyways, uh, yeah. We're basically on the other side, so... Wander around here. Turn left. The castle is in that direction. Yeah, it's not too bad. Which is why we've introduced this bit of platforming. A bit of frogger, if you will. Oh my gosh. Oh. This one's kind of oh, this one's kind of annoying because one, you take damage constantly while in the in the poop, which I might as well save here. Sorry. Um, but also the fact that, like, the platforms don't sink. The tower? Sorry. Yeah, the tower's that way. Sorry. They're all towers. Everything's a tower. Yeah, you see what I mean? The platforms don't really line up timing-wise. And the walls keep moving on me. There we go. That's our ring, so... Uh, I think I've botched the timing. I gotta go to the other side. <laughs> He sounds like he's crumpling over every time he lands. The ga oh, sorry, the GameCube joystick. Sorry, yeah. Ooh, ooh, what's going on with the wall there? Ooh. Ooh. So now, this is where I start to get a little, like, sweaty. Because for some odd reason, in my testing, and I remember this happening as well, the first time I played the game. Um, you'd wander up to the, the tower. And uh, it wouldn't... Ways open. It wouldn't open. It, it would keep telling you you're missing items. If you haven't picked up all four items, it doesn't open up. And, uh, yeah, that was a hard lock, that, that part, so I had to load a save. Jesus, there's a goddamn lion in here. Quiet, Adam. If Maisie hears us, we've lost already. Well, technically, he doesn't hear you when he's in the castle. This thing seems like it's, uh, quite tough because you gotta hit him a bunch, but, uh, the easy answer is go into your inventory, uh, pick the haunch of meat. What the hell is this? Wonderful haunch of meat, and just uh, one ugly mother. He just stops at some point, and he starts eating that. And I assume we'll he'll keep eating it forever. Oops, not that door, I guess. There we go. So in we are. Uh, we got a maze of staircases. How they know this guy's name? Oh. It's written on his name badge. There's a lot of weird little corridors and a bit of water inside his building. I love this, uh, this bit of lighting though, that's fun. Yeah, that's real good fun. Uh, there's only one Remember, way to go. We have to avoid waking Raziel. So, okay, so, pretty much... How do I explain this room? It looks real fancy. It looks like there's a lot of stuff going on, but your goal is just to zip straight across the other side. If you hit the ground, 
Uh, this bell starts going off. This thing looks ominously like one of Raziel's tests. If it goes off, cover your ears. It's going to be loud. Actually, even better, I can demonstrate this thing going off. Even better. Thanks, Adam. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. Makes a very loud noise there, but... Thanks, Adam. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. Technically, this is three wrong moves. Thanks, Adam. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. I don't think it's actually any punishment right now, but you're basically forced to have to activate one of these levers on the side of the room. So if you see, there's one right here, and you would need to go over and hit the lever to turn off the bell before you're really allowed to keep going. Uh, that's how I would frame it. Um, now, you could do a cheeky jump right here, because you can clearly see this platform is uh, only up for so long. And that at least skips that whole little bit of jumping right there. Just don't fall easy, yeah. You got another lever here in case. Uh, mystical stairs right there. There you go. Now, here comes the puzzles. Because we've been picking up lots of items. Your goal is you need to somehow get something. Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? That was a speedrun strat. Yes, there you go. Um, your goal is to somehow figure out how to how to get in here. Uh, there's lots of little doors. Locked. Some of them, you know, are locked. Someone trolls my home. Some of them are squeaky. This is the son of Adam. Be warned, boy. The need of your realm is great. Tread softer. So be the gift of the master jailer. Quiet, Adam. If Razor hit someone wakens me. Ah, boy, son of Adam. You have broken my laws despite the warnings. So be it. While your soul remains here in the tower, your world shall perish. That is your punishment. Let interment commence. Oh god. What does interment look like? Well, nothing, I'd imagine. Oh, no, it looks like that. <laughs> Alright, so, moral of the story is, you gotta do things in a specific order, and they kinda punish you for, got, like, opening the wrong door. Like, if you go up to this one, for example. Is it me, or is that door moving? It's not you. Look, the mouth and the face is moving. Halt, ring bearer. Know this. To enter, you must speak unto me the words of passing. The warning is given. And so you could just... You know, what do you think, Rebecca? Well, we're in Raquia, and we're after the Key of Tears. So how about Raziel, Raquia, or Key of Tears? Maybe we should come back later. It's your decision, though. For some odd reason, they don't give you a choice to leave after this. Guardian, the word of passing is Raziel. I command you. Open. Ring bearer, the password is false. The warning was given. That nearly killed me. Oh, it still counts as a hit, by the way. Listen to my word of passing. I command you, open. Ring bearer, the password is false. The warning was. Very nice. All right, so there's a few doors you can go in. Uh, there's also uh, this one over here, which is good fun because as you go in, uh, you start taking damage. That noise seems to be coming from this statue. So that's fun. Uh, there's, okay, how do we explain what, what to do? Alright, first thing, go over to this door, go into the inventory, use the pan pipes. Don't budge. Uh, use the pan pipes. Double click them. Bingo. There you go. In here we find glasses? Yeah, my health's not doing well. And uh, I guess, uh, what, what, what do we call this? I guess they call it flask. It's a flask full of oil, judging by the smell. I'm sure it'll come in useful for something. We're gonna need oil for something. Very important. So, that's door number one. Okay, let's head over to the genie door now. And, uh, very importantly, go into your inventory and, uh, you'll find the earplugs, uh, where are they gone? Earplugs. Double click them. This uses them. It allows you to walk right up to them. It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Oh, like the earplugs. Click on this, you'll get a key. And then you sort of never have to 
you know, worry about him or the earplugs again, so I'm gonna take him out. Uh, this key is used for... Uh... The siren? Yeah, yeah. This key is used for this door, uh, which I shall save in front of. You're gonna need to make sure you've got the, the fluid or the, the thing in your hand and just click very close. Oh, not this room. Next room. Oh. Well, that's a bit awkward. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That silently opens this door. That's what this is. You can't, you can't get any flask. Um, I might as well drink, uh, my pink liquid while I'm at it. Uh, go back into your inventory again. Here's your spectacles. spectacles. There's magic woven into that. That is very fancy spectacles. Nothing to do with sight. Wow. Glasses use a sight. Double click it. It uses them, and you'll notice that he put lasers in his room. You need to make sure you jump over the books, or at least that one, in particular. Walk on over. Grab a piece of paper. And what does the piece of paper say? Go over to our piece of paper section. Parchment. Something written on it. Looks new. Sperm. Oh, spirit. That's what it says. There we go. Jump back over. The font's bad, I tell you. <laughs> so we come back over. Halt, ring back. And we say the magic word. Guardian, the word of passing is spirit. Open to me. There we go. And uh, they got a very hot piece of liquid in here. I guess that fire is bound to that. This probably uh, screams more use it on the ice. God, this, it's cold in here. This melts the ice because the ice would crack and therefore make noise. Silver. Covered in some oh shape. yeah, Magical most of the doors rings. would have killed me by now. They indicate some magic connected to sound. Lack of sound actually. There you go. Magical lack of sound. Uh, we need to go into this door. Oh. Maybe that's the one where the key is for. There you go. This door has a uh, fun writing on the floor. See where the sky bridge lies opening our hearts and minds. Star. Topmost points colored red. Must be a clue. So uh, what you're going to notice is that you can take every single one of these colored gems. And uh, you got to somehow figure out which one counts as blue and which one counts as indigo and which one counts as violet because they all kind of look the same to me the green one looks obvious the orange one looks obvious the yellow one looks obvious and the red one looks obvious oh i got it right cool okay match what i did you get this uh this rainbow key hey, yes good old roy g bib isn't it weird that i've played two games that have a roy g bib puzzle now this year And, uh, so the last thing you want to do is you want to, uh, go into your, where, whichever one it was. Here, armlet. Make sure you equip the armlet, because otherwise this floor is creaky. Floor looks odd, don't you think? Yes. Oh, uh, the other one was Dex's lab. It had, right had a puzzle like that. Open this door. We have the magical rainbow rock that we needed this whole time to just slap into here. And then you get to walk on this magical Rise of the Triad walkway right here. Through the door. Alright, I am going to save here. Because uh, this is where I softlock myself. Or hardlock myself, even better. So. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. Uh, hands, I guess. So, uh, watch out for touching these because you will take damage. It's just a bit of a perspective puzzle, I guess, on the sprite. So grab this. Complete the ring. Complete the ring. Uh, okay. So, go into your inventory. So this is the gem on the ring. The ring is now complete. And, this ring uh, is now complete, yes? Yes. That gemstone we found seems to fit perfectly into the socket. Feels complete now. Very complete. You can even discuss it. This ring we found in Raziel's maze. What of it? What of it? This ring. What of What of it? <laughs> so if you uh, equip the ring. <laughs> Remove the ring. Remove the ring. 
Okay, so if you remove the ring... Oh, he's... he's a goner. Adam! Rebecca, get out of here! That, that was, a, was a poor decision, Adam. You and, you and Rebecca are now my prisoners. There is no way out. The world's fate is cast. Uh, yeah, it was a trap, yes. <gasps> oh. And, uh, yeah, if you... Be warned, if you put on the ring, you get teleported to that room. If you save, you will never you leave that room. You will never be able to leave that room. So, uh... Yeah, don't don't save over your, your game by doing that. So, the ring is now complete. Complete the ring. Much stuck fast. Much. Stuck fast. The door. There you go. Wow, looks just like the room we were just in. Also, fast. you saw those things rising up. Yeah, okay. Sure. Stuck fast. Do we use the ring in here? There you go. Oh, now we put it on. You might be wondering what was Perhaps that different about the trial. what I just did. That's the a good King question. Tears is yours. He had the ring on, yes. He put the ring on as opposed to taking it off. Okay, cool ring. It's a fancy key, though. The key of tears. Yes. We've established that. And there we go. To chapter 11 now. Took many tears to get it, yes. Alright. So now... Oh, got the key of tears. Now what? Rescue Hawk? That's right. It's a weird amount of backtracking. Like, quite a bunch of backtracking for some reason. <laughs> so let's save the game. Put it over here. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, Adam. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. Sunk like a stone just then. There we go. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> don't make it... Uh, well... I guess you can fall now. Technically, you can fall as many times as long as you don't ring that bell. But also... I don't even know if there's any punishment for doing that right now. He's still munching on it. So, that's all cool. Uh, you just gotta remember the way to leave this place. Now, if you were an insane speedrunner person, you'd know that you'd go left at that, like, kind of part. You'd wander forward here, you'd walk down this hallway, uh, you'd casually sneak to the right, you'd keep following the hallway down, you turn right here, you turn left twice, and you're at the end. If you're pro, you would remember that. I practiced this yesterday. Unfortunately, they spawned some dudes on me, so... What are they even doing here? Okay. I love the wind up, it's like, whoa! Wave your arms around. Uh, so yeah. I think I didn't really elaborate on the WordPress thing. Um, why do companies do this? I don't know. There's a bunch of companies, and actually as well, uh, I'm getting some even, some internal fights on my Feddy timeline about, uh, uh, just things. A lot of people have a lot of pride. I don't really know. It's different from a business perspective rather than people. But, like, from a business perspective, I can't imagine profits are scraping that hard that you'd, like, have to do it. A part of me always does feel, though, that, like, yeah, when a, pump, uh, when a company goes 
there. When a company goes public, a lot of people narcissists exactly, or at least maybe not a lot of people in the world, but certainly people who end up being leaders generally, generally have a bit of narcissism involved. Now there's a lot of enemies. I think it would be a shame if I just walked right past them. You know, they're, they're chilling on that side of the the hedge maze. I'm wandering down here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who are who are like that. And what's well, sorry in in the leadership positions oh, of the world. Oh, hi there. I'm just gonna wander past you again. It's not like enemies drop anything. You know, like there's no reason to stay around and fight. Just. Adam. Oh. oh no, what did she say? Become as one to walk the tower. Combine the face. Combine. 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 Combine the face. I know, I was walking too fast. Ah. She said Adam, that's it. That's the canonical line of dialogue. She's like, Adam. There's a line of dialogue. Uh, the best part as well, I don't even think we even come back to here at all in the game, so... Uh, goodbye, Raquia. You were fun for... 30 minutes. And then we gotta wander around... A little maze again. Uh... This light, I know, I'm sorry. I've... Fun fact, I've played this game twice before. Which is sometimes a little more than some of the other games I've played, but... I'm still going off a bit of memory on this one. <laughs> but it's just like, ah, oh, what am I up for? And remember as well, when I was practicing, uh, my, uh, I got a bit hard locked and I was like, well, I'm not recovering all that again, so, uh, whoop. So here we go. I believe we gotta do the whole walk all the way back, like quite a fair bit of backtracking. The worst part as well, where are the enemies? Who knows? Did I have another topic I wanted to bring up? Oh, we got Intel processors, we got technology! We got our Intel did formally announce their Arrow Lake processors. Uh, I am of the one person who uh, has a bit of copium. I, I, true, I did kill them already. But I was expecting something to spawn behind me because it's like, you know, I went all the way through that place and they spawn enemies on the way out. You think they'd make the walk a bit more interesting? Uh, but uh, this isn't blood. That is true. This isn't Doom. I played through Doom on the 3DO the other day. By the way, I was like, oh boy, how is it? Uh. Well, it controls more okay than some other uh, Doom ports because you've actually got a, um, you know, a bit of turning acceleration, which is actually quite nice, uh, and uh, also shoulder buttons to strafe, which is something more than the Jaguar version. Unfortunately, it runs like butt, so uh, I wouldn't recommend it for that. But uh, hey, for for the story behind it. The story behind it is rather curious. Oh yeah, this guy's still chilling over there. Oh, he's actually walking as well. Okay. Alright. Come closer. Walk onto the gate. We just did that. Oh, hi there. Hey! Oh snap, he's got an axe with me. Wow, he's actually- when are you walking? I'm just hearing like whooshing noises coming out of him. Oops, I can't aim. Oh, oh, <laughs> don't stand in the fire. Do not stand in the fire. He's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of health. Wait, hold on. What the 
health isn't the problem. Hold on. Hold on. We'll trick him. We'll trick him. Nope. The health isn't the problem. Am I tweaking? Ah, stop it. He can't stop me. He can't stop me. <laughs> oh, snap. It's got a friend. And then he fell over. The fire can- He walked through the fire. He didn't do any- He didn't get stopped by the fire. He walked through that. Well, at least they made this area slightly more interesting by having some enemies on it. Yeah, it stopped me. Didn't stop him. Gosh, the sound effects are, I tell ya. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, mild bit of technology news before I hit another cutscene. Uh, Intel's announced new processors. Uh, Intel 2nd Series, as they officially call it, but Intel 15th Gen, by most people's metrics, including most stores in Australia, are just calling it 15th Gen, because why not? Uh, Intel's usual norms, they're coming out with the K versions first. Uh, so i5, i7, i9. Not anymore, they're not calling it that. It's Core Ultra 5, Core Ultra 7, Core Ultra 9. So it's sort of a reboot, yes. But... Effectively the same thing. Unless you care about the NPU, then it's a different thing. But most people don't know what they're going to use the NPU for, so... Does it really matter? Who knows. Uh, we gotta go all the way back to the study. And then go down the place to then wander all the way back. There's nothing happening other than just enemies fighting you. And not even the whole way. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Um, the Intel performance slides kind of show not really any gains. Sometimes a little regressive. Uh, but the main thing that Intel is going for is uh, the processor is not drawing as much power as it used to. And that's probably the big thing. So it's a PS5 Pro? Sort of. Named Key of Tears. The pricing is a little lower in Australia as well, so it's actually a little nicer. Although, like all new Intel uh, motherboards, they're always expensive. The pricing on those, not fun for day one. So, my personal advice is, no matter what happens, don't buy day one. Wait a bit. There's actually, there's already discounts as well. The the processor, the, the i9, is like $1,100 Australian for its base price. And uh, there's already a discount. Some, I think Centacom's selling it for 982. So that's 120 bucks off right there. Um, on top of that, uh, yeah, the i7, which just oh sorry, the the Ultra 7, the 265K. The numbering's not too bad actually. I, I don't I don't hate the numbering as long as it just means they can reduce the terms. I love this key by the way. Well, there you go. That was that was what the key was used for. <laughs> Um, but the, the, the i7, basically, it's the same, it's the same core counts as 14th gen. So your i7 just lacks four e-cores, and while the e-cores are probably a fair bit better now, because they've actually been upgraded, there's a very loud, rumbly, rumbly pillar. Baby Jesus, no! Oh, there he is. Hello. Free. Free to restore the balance. I assume you're Hawk. I am Hawk. What will it be? I thought you might have the answers. They are closer to you than most. I guess. Perhaps you can give us some? Ask, but I may answer. Okay. Oh my gosh, wow, this guy has a fair bit of dialogue, doesn't he? He's, Alf. He's offered us much help since we've arrived. Alf is only one of his names. He is a product of the Soul Stone, 
the force controlling the universe. Metaphorically speaking, if the soul stone is the lock, then Alp's sword is the key. It's part of the shrine. Okay. Events and certain prophecies have been falsified. That is why Alf was here, to put the fate of mankind's future back on course. What about the Falshire Knights? He said he was the last of their order. Indeed he is. The very last and the most noble line of avatars to swear their soul to the light on the day of creation and defend the soul stone from the very evil we face. The order finally fell to an army of darkness led by a young mortal called Florentine. Demon Otherwise, was led by a guy called Ash Williams. Demon of lies. Or sort of Belial. both sides. Belial. Who is he, Hawk? Belial is one of the great lords of hell. The greatest. In many earthly texts, he has even been confused with the power of Satan. His name literally means liar. He is Florentine shade. He's doppelganger, if you like. Conceived from the soul stone. Oh, spoilers. And born from the evil within Florentine's soul. Florentine. What about his part in all of this? His role is to see that the power of Satan is manifested physically into the new host. My antithesis. Gaul. Indeed, Gaul. That part of France? The spirit of my father is held here somewhere. How can I free his soul from torment? The answer to that question is simple. The balance, the power of the soul stone, must be redressed. The solution is, however, a difficult task. The fate of your father and that of mankind is a shared one. As in... it's gonna happen? So what about Florentine? <laughs> Florentine lost his I always feel like Florentine is the name of just a flower, like a florist, because I don't know anyone actual, actually called Florentine. I'm sorry Florentine people out there. Shout out if your name is Florentine. Maybe you won't, you don't look like this guy though. He is immortal for as long as Belial lives within this world. So that son of a bitch and Belial are working together? Not any longer. They may have the same goal, but they are now enemies. Vying for the attentions of their dark master. Both hope to be Satan's guide if he ever returns in the new host. You're following along with this plot, by the way. <laughs> the host of all evil. Gaul. Ah, uh, hate France. What can you tell us about Gaul? Gaul and I are products of the Soul Stone. As his body is prepared as host for the force of darkness, so is mine for the power of light. We've seen Gaul. He took a small green crystal from an altar stone. Like this. Ah! Oh. Yes, exactly. It's a shard of the soul stone. One of many broken and lost throughout time and reality. It was just chilling there. There were like the five of them there. That grants entry from the tower into the realm of Shore. The infernal place that guards the area where the soul stone lies. If we are to redress the balance, we should find one. Two. One each for traveling to the realm of Shore. Oh, good that we couldn't take two then. Who are you, Hawk? What are you? A product of the Soul Stone. He's British. A vessel born of time to become a host for the power of light. The he, he came to work, shooting his scenes, and they gave him a T-shirt so and enemies. said, "Yeah, we are that's it." Okay. Within the tower, we've met a man who calls himself Raphael. Place in him the same trust you place in Alf, for it can be said that they are of the same blood. I notice some resemblance. Are you saying that they're related? Related? No. Of the same blood, yes. Well, that, does, that doesn't help at all. Look how long this list of we have our own <laughs> lists of cutscenes are. What part does the Temple of the Morning Star play in all of this? The temple is a thing of man, born of Florentine. Its purpose is to see the power of light grow down, the force of evil walk the earth. Okay, easy enough. We've heard of Shoal. Sounds like a dangerous place. 
Some call it hell, or Ghana, the seven terrible layers of fire and darkness. Shoal is only the topmost layer of hell, the lowest being the pit. It is within the place you call Shoal that the soul stone lies. Why is it in hell? Who put it there? Hark, what do you know of Aqua? Aqua, the realm of divinity, and therein lies the garden of paradise. Many are the wonders to be found there, the greatest of all being the tree of understanding. Tree of... Your ancestral mother and father ate of it, and unto them was given the power to see both good and evil, the power of choice. Well, <laughs> that was generally seen as a mixed reaction. Tower. Can you tell us anything more substantial? It is his place. I cannot tell you more than he. It's a, yes, pretty much. We're almost uh, there. We're almost at the end of the exposition. What are these? Were given to me by Florentine. He was disguised as a priest. There's something in them, some sort of power, I think. Adam, these are the broken seals of the Soul Stone. You have within your hands six of the seven seals that bind the universe together. Oh, you know, just when cash. When the is broken, the world will be plunged into darkness. If this happens, Gaul will become host to the power of all darkness, and mankind will be doomed. <laughs> okay, sure. The shrine seems to be a just tossing it. It is part of the sword eternal that was taken from the soul stone by Florentine. Tell me, Adam, have you some sort of mark upon you? Some device similar to the shrine? You mean these damn things? I do. You are the one. You just sat on a hot chair one day. The one to take up the sword eternal. I thought you'd say something like that. Can you tell us more about the soul stone? Nope. The soul stone <laughs> is the neutrality of the universe. Nice close up. Very nice. It's channeled from man's thoughts from which all that is good and evil is filtered. Sometimes thoughts can be so vile and evil. That a minion is created. Ugh, of that hate life. minions. Well, time to leave this man. Friends, my time here is at an end. But before I depart, know this. Adam, you have been marked as the Shrive Bearer. Only you can wield eternity now. None other. You must locate the sword. How many swords are we picking up? Come to me, Rebecca. No hand holding. Pretty sure he basically just described everything to us anyways. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's wandering off. But where does eternity lie? I mean, it could be anywhere. If it was taken from the soul stone by Florentine, then it would soon become lost to him. Find it then where its master dwells. Find the place where Michael rules. And there it shall be. Where Michael rules. Find it and take it to the soul stone. Oh. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. He is swole. Everyone is swole as they teleport. Well, now we know where we've got to go to. Aqua, realm of the divine. What was all that about? What was it about? Hawk imparted my mind with some information that he thought might be useful to us. That's all. That's all. Well, we still got a problem. We have to find a talisman, or a device of some sort, to get us to Aqua. Like our stuff. Aqua's the realm of the divine. Rakia's is the hedge maze. Stuff we found on the way. There's nothing there. Let's just hope we're lucky. Uh, 
There we go. Long cutscene. That cutscene might have been longer than one of the chapters. <laughs> End of chapter. We'll keep going on for a bit. We haven't hit two hours. So, I believe you gotta turn around. What is this supposed to open? And, uh, you've just opened this up. Also, I'm gonna, you know, save here, because then I don't have to sit through cutscenes again. I'm s <laughs> I didn't even save since I was at the... Turn around. What am I turning around? Turn around? Where are we turn around? Every now and then I feel a little... I, you did this before, I still don't know the melody, I'm sorry. I got got, right then. Right then and there. So look at this place. Oh, never mind, we gotta shoot some people. Jeez, bro. Calm the farm with the... killing, I guess. I don't like the green laser though. But these guys will show up a fair bit, so I gotta listen to the song. Oh. Watch out for infinity symbols, they're apparently dangerous. Apparently that one is. What the heck did I get hit by? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Because I was on a lot of health and then I was on not a lot of health. I still got exploit. Yes, I know. There you go. Easy. Okay. Hold on. Like, what? <laughs> what did I touch just then? <laughs> Is that just going up to it? Yeah, okay. That's just. That's just touching it. Does that. Lock. Okay. Don't touch bad, bad thing. Like that, you see? It's all bad. None of it should be touched. Look at this, like, clown house. Like, I, I would never want to ever live in a place that has wallpaper like this. It's just... Like... <laughs> true. True. That wasn't a dumb mistake. That was an exploratory dumb mistake. The best kind of dumb mistake. Well, turns out everything has infinity on it, so, uh... We ain't going this way. But good to know that there's a house here. This feels like a, like, you know, you make a Doom map, you're like, oh, you know, it'd be cool if I made this house, and you make it out in the engine, and then someone is just like, okay, turn that into a level. Like, just put a key somewhere in it. <laughs> you gotta go find the key. So we go into this church. Oh, hi there. Jeez, man, come out from the ceiling, slap me in the face. Oh, shoot the locks. Shoot the symbols. No, it's gotta be magic. Yeah, the one at the front exploded. I don't know why. Uh, so let's see. Church Dad's fund. Church, like most others, appears to be in need of funds. It's the roof again. Why is it always the roof? Collection box with a few coins in it. Quaint, don't you think? Okay. Look, there's some water in this niche. I don't think it's rainwater somehow. What? You mean it's holy water? Does it work? It might do. Depends on how much you believe in it. Okay, this is the key. Oh, well, you can drink it all, I guess. Locked. So I, I think, because we still got the chalices wherever they've gone. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Tilda gets rid of all the textures. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Three sneezes. Oh my goodness. I think I drank all the holy water. Oh wait, no, we still got some in here. Bless me, thank you, it was a church. <laughs> Dude, I love the no texture mode. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool for these trees, because it's like, oh, you know, that's how the trees are done. I forgot that that button's there. <laughs> uh, it's a cool button, I like it. Okay, around the church. Uh... Okay, I don't suppose there's anything else outside, so... Your suspicion is probably correct. The execution. Oh. 
Better be careful with this. Touch it and it'll take your hand off. Okay. Very low poly style. Exactly. This is what my house should look like. Oh. Locked. Locked, 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 locked. Hmm. Hmm. Better be careful with this. Touch it and it'll take your hand off. Because it looks cool, okay? It looks cool. Maybe I should open this and grab a flashlight? I don't suppose the flashlight does anything. Hold on, we can inspect the flashlight. I'm going silly right now. I'm like, what on earth is going on? Heavy duty torch. Andy for spotting oh, words, it would the see. magic you flashlight. By the person living here. Must be keen to keep people out. It's a magic flashlight. You know what that means. Uh. Hi. Well, it's not that magic, is it? Is it magic against these ones? Nope. <laughs> it's worth oh, trying. Oh. Use thing on thing and occasionally with thing. Uh. I feel like a silly billy because I would have imagined a magical flashlight would be. Like, Better be careful with this. Touch it and it'll take your hand off. I don't know. What would. Code on a hanger? Do we pass a code hanger? There's a fun hallway though, I'll tell you that. At the side of the house. Let's see, we got the one over there. Uh, I can't comment on it. But it's there. And then yeah, there's a little part where we've got that. Given that this is a green one, better be careful. This seems curious. It and it'll take your hand off. Uh, maybe I just need to use a magical weapon. No. Uh, not particularly, but the, the flash, uh, yeah, the flashlight, the torch is on this slot. Which is kind of curious, so hold on, if I put that away, and I'm just holding the flashlight. I mean, hold on. Save here again, just so I'm standing right here. I'm holding the flashlight. I'm definitely holding the flashlight. It's there in the bottom right. So... Uh, maybe there's... Oh. Doormat. Well used. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Did you grab the magic wand that's underneath the doormat? Now you can, now you can, yeah, uh, obvious, obvious, obvious. Did you, you just, you missed the magic wand. How, how, could, how could you obviously miss the magic wand under the doormat, you know? <laughs> it's always the doormat. Look at that lightning bolt. I think this charge is a little quicker than the other weapons. Or it's yet another weapon. We'll just keep alternating between all the weapons. Aha! Uh, magic doors can't stop me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting there. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what, a, what a funky little corridor. <laughs> I know, I got jump scared by myself. <laughs> Woo. Old cooker. Spotless. That's surprising. Old cooker. Whoa, man. These knives are sharp. Good kitchen knives usually are. That That is fair. That is a fair comment. Huzzah! What is in the fridge? Oh, you know, a key. Fridge key. Uh... 
how very odd. How very odd. Okay, for reference, for reference, I'll just we'll wait a moment to get people back in. Uh, also allows me to get DOSBox back open. How very odd. We'll get DOSBox back up. Uh, so the, the brief explanation I can say back there, what happened? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what happened. Other than maybe I could say my power went out? But what was very weird was my computer was still running somewhat. So I'm just getting DOSBox back up. Um, but uh, my computer was still running somewhat. So I could hear the game audio in the back, but my computer monitors both died and didn't want to output anything. Um, my capture device didn't go flicky flicky, so that seemed a little odd to me, but displays were out. Uh, anyway, let's dive back in. Yeah, I know, very odd. Um, so, uh, Roth, Roth.res. We'll dive back in. I don't think I really lost much progress. Like, I would have been, at the very least, at the beginning of the house. So that's all fine. And, uh, yeah, oh yeah. No, we, legit, we had some, like, lightning storms outside earlier in the day. And, which doesn't quite explain the evening. But, um, literally there was a lightning bolt, like... 20 minutes outside my house like because i mean speed of sound is 340 meters per second which means that if you hear it and it kind of goes off right away it has to be like at least you know or at most like 30 you know meters away that was pretty close um but that was at like two o'clock it's currently 10 30. um but weirdly when i left my house for dinner uh i noticed the printer like, rebooted on me. And so I feel like maybe I'm getting some, uh, some brownouts on the power. No sound. Oh, sorry. The no sound is, uh, audio thing because I didn't hit the button. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> but I, I might be getting, like, brownouts. So, hasn't affected me so far other than just that, at least for the computer. So, uh, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled a bit. Um, but I deeply apologize for losing the stream there, and it's a shame, because I had viewers for a moment. That's okay. Um, so yeah. Sorry to all the people who experienced that. Ooh. <laughs> what now you can- now you can tell exactly what- how this effect is being done. Oh, hi there. Oh boy. Let's see if I can duck right through. There we go. No, 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 no. That was a... I, I, I mean, very rarely do my streams die, and that was certainly a me... A me stream dying. Uh, dying. So, what a, what a bizarre thing. <gasps> candle! Candle! You know what that means. Scream to the masses. Yeah. <laughs> There's some sort of lock mechanism built into this. I did get lemoned, yes. I did get lemoned. Oh, there's another guy chilling around. Here he goes. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Gotta shout out your Harry Potter spells every time. Oh, look, a pentagram. Oh, this is my favorite enemy. He's chilling. I don't want to kill him. He's kind of cool. Thing seems to be caught in some ward. Someone's keeping it here. That's for sure. Locked. Locked, 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 locked. Well, I guess I'm going to need a key from somewhere, but that's okay. We've got a decently big house, and I could have just turned on the lights the whole time. I still love that this door just automatically closes when you... <laughs> oh, hold on. Can we can we automatically close this door while we're at it? Yes! How strange. It's like a map transition right there. Uh, we wanted here from the kitchen. We've got this completely pitch back room with a lips on the wall. There you go. Papers and things. Nothing to give anything away. Drawers locked. Wonder why the windows are bricked up. Who knows? Your father wouldn't have done this, that's for sure. It's the Not Beatles. Trying to keep something out. Twist and the shout. Hell? Future sight. It's the only possible answer. Why does it say crud? It's got equations on the wall. Hey. That's us. 
I didn't see any cameras. Do you think someone knew we were coming? <laughs> what a very odd thing to There's spot. There's a CD in here. Can't see any others. CD with a space. Locked. 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 Okay, well, there's probably something upstairs then. Yes, that is some fun multi directional audio, yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> I didn't even finish my point on the Intel processors because we had a very long, uh, conversation with a guy who was named after a bird. Um. Yeah, mo most likely, don't buy it day one just because I don't imagine the performance is really going to be that great for the price. Um. If you wanted to buy Intel, uh, I don't. The, the 14th gen stuff has hopefully been fixed now. At least all new processes probably... Oh my gosh, jeez, again. Well, there is... What the... What? I don't even see a freaking thing that time, I swear. Wardrobe. Am I going nuts? Standard fitting, I suppose. The claw marks aren't there. I want to confess something about buying a 13th gen and then having copium that, like, oh, my processor is fine, don't worry. Has a Age of Empires effect, that is true, it probably does have an Age of Empires effect. Well, that's a fun sound, isn't it? Hold on, can I keep triggering it? <sighs> Only once. Only once. <laughs> Let's just say DOSBox is too intense for a 13900K, apparently. Well, that didn't open it up. I wonder what opened when I... Hit that switch. Dim room. Flick the lights. Every time! Probably is exactly that. Maybe I shouldn't. Do. No, that's not an AOE. That's that's. Oh snap! I didn't save. Dang it. <laughs> that's not an AOE. That's not an AOE. That's just the freaking. Yeah, I know, right? Granted, I I clicked on that a few times because I was an idiot. Now we know. Because for reference, I'm not going nuts. But I was like, this thing does not AOE, does it? That's just a, that's just a, um, a bathroom mirror that just refuses to <laughs> open, I guess, for some reason. I would imagine this key probably opens that one door that I've just not been going into for some reason. Locked, 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 locked. I guess it doesn't. Open. I'll turn all the lights here, wherever the light switch is gone. I don't think this one had a light switch. I think it's just the kitchen. Uh, there are two locked doors. I've completely forgotten where locked door number two was, so I'm just going to look in here. We're going to save immediately next to this... This cursed toilet. I think I'm gonna puke. Oh. Talk about filthy. No one's used this for some time. Talk about filthy. There is no a one's rat used in the this bar. For some time. Why is it like this? Why? Why is it so destructive? Okay. What does this open? I hear it out of my left ear. Or do I? in the wardrobe try to do it without the wand I had a I had a no no item held um, when I did this before yeah that's just a very destructive uh, very destructive uh, wall there it's a flicky switch that flicky switch has to mean something and there's probably like Part of me thinking architecture goes, oh, well, like, what's this part of the room used for? This part of the, the building used for? 
Because obviously they're probably going to, you know, pack it in tight, right? They're going to have all the rooms next to each other. Oh, did you... <laughs> Come on, guys. Like, I know, I know what they're trying to pull. Although, you still kind of have room over room because you can see that happening here. Pixar lamp. Remote, like we can see us. I think someone knew we were coming. What the hell? Future sight. The Beatles. The possible answer. Locked. 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 And that's still not the right key. Not very, very odd. Um. Okay, we got our downstairs. We might as well trigger our downstairs. wand on as well. Ah. Itchy nose, computer dying, what a what a strange world we're in. So yeah, so don't buy these processors day one. I'm hopeful they're actually okay, but the official slides aren't saying they're really anything that great. Um, obviously as well, the games uh, probably just go to an X3D processor from AMD. They seem to be doing the job pretty well. Um, maybe this will do alright. Maybe. Um, but we'll see. I'm hoping power efficiency is a lot better, although a lot of people are just immediately going, oh, but that's because they're on TSMC 3 nanometer. And I'm like, I, maybe? It's weird, though, because I'm pretty sure there's Intel processors on... What if I kill this dude? What if he, like, needs to be put out of his misery? actually hitting him? Who knows? Probably not. I'm hitting him. I'm hitting the fence on him. Okay. Alright, that's gotta be an actual item I grabbed down here, right? You said there were two locked doors. It's about to be another key or something. Just hiding. Just hiding somewhere. I'm always reminded of the uh, beginning episode of the Hawk guy. The Hawkeye. TV show. I always say Hawkeye. And, uh... She's fighting in the little winery. And, the uh, little wine cellar. And, uh, there's one shot where, like... The bottle... She holds up a bottle and then it breaks in her hand. And there's such an obvious jump cut. And it gets to me every time. I'm like, oh, how could they leave that in? Save. Fine. Fine! Can't believe you're, you're right on this one. But also, fine! Locked. Locked. The bathroom. The... The kitchen. Let's see. This, maybe I'm not clicking on the carpet or I'm looking in the sink or something. This is obviously, like, something that needs to open up, but... Why is it... Why is it weirdly triggering on the other side? I don't know. This is an empty room, but it's got a random light switch that may or may not do something when you flick it. This is a room with a red carpet, and when you open this door, you get the back of the thing. The back of there. Like, it's pretty indiscriminate why it's, like, there in particular as well. Ugh. Let's see, why am I wandering around? Can you tell I didn't practice this one part? This can't have been the way my father would have left it. it. Can't be. If not, the question is, who did? Keep hearing a thing go off as well. Uh. Key. Locked, 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 locked. If you have the switch flicked and the bathroom drawer doesn't explode. It's worth a try. Save game. Okay. Run up to the thing. No item. Click. Blow up. Okay. Turn around. Flick switch. I'm pretty sure I've had that in the flicked on position. Still die. The theory is it's not hold yet. Hmm. 
expecting something very, like, obscure to just suddenly kick in, you know what I mean? I don't feel anything in this bathroom, like, I don't see anything to really interact with other than weirdly explosive, uh, you know, wall there. This room is such a mystery to me as well. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you're seeing why this is... hold on. That's another one of those magic walls that, for some reason, I can't hit. The key is for the drawer? Maybe... which drawer? The one for the... Which, which drawer do we have is locked? Maybe it's for the church. We're gonna- we're gonna get jump scared by this guy again. Yeah. Locked. Locked. Nope. It's for this. Collection box. Quaint, don't you think? Nope. Can't interact doesn't with appear, doesn't appear- doesn't appear to be working. Can't interact with the box, but I'm pretty sure you need a coin. The bathroom one that goes boom. We've had the key in the inventory the whole time. I didn't- Oh, did we? Nothing in the inventory. It's keys in the inventory. Still nothing. I'm thinking it's just like, there's probably just something down here. Because I didn't pick anything up. I mean, this is the thing when it's like, play from a first person perspective, is that it's a lot harder to signal something. This is- this is when I get into the- the criticisms of the game, when I get stuck and I blame the game for everything that I'm kind of blind to, like, spotting. This guy's just chilling here. Okay. Wait. Oh, I'm gonna look at this guy again. Thing seems to be caught in some ward. Someone's keeping it here, that's for sure. I don't see anything. Is it shoot it with the wand? Oh, that's not a wand. Shoot the ward on the ground. Shoot the ward. Uh, I'm trying to get that. I don't exactly know if you can aim at the ground, but given that I'm not seeing a red, I don't know if he's even gonna, like, wanna... Yeah, he doesn't really wanna aim at it. It's weird that it's on the ground. You can sort of... You can sort of try and cheese it, but... Nah, we're, we're really looking at it. I'm not... I'm not getting there. It's worth a shot. Worth a try. But alas. Beer keg. Could use some of that right now. Beer keg. Could use some of that right now. Hmm. Okay, I guess. Ah, uh, it just had the right click. It didn't have the left click. I don't know what this thing is. The thermostat? Aircon? Weird walls that I can somehow interact with. I keep getting fixated on this. Like, hold on, let me just mentally map out. We have this wall. I'm pretty sure that is directly touching, and that's why you're. Mm. Maybe it's not directly touching. Fireplace, always a curious one, especially when you can see at the top of it. Uh Turn on fireplace. Did I have a switch or 
I don't think I could interact with it. I, I don't see a green or anything. Wardrobe. Standard fitting, I suppose. The claw marks aren't there. Wardrobe. The claw marks aren't there. Very odd. Uh... Not very odd. That's... It feels odd because, like, if there's a... If there's a spell, like, right here, like, obviously... There's something I can interact with that kills me. I don't suppose, uh, no, I was like, I was running the game at a different resolution, like, somehow I can't, which I love that you can do, by the way. Yeah, I can't see the claw marks. Oh, what the? Am I going nuts? Am I going nuts? I'm trying game, I'm really trying. I'm really trying here. I'm really trying, I don't- <laughs> I, I am being gaslit by a DOS game. I'm, re I'm really trying here. marks aren't there. I do not see the claw marks, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's worth maybe changing the resolution just to see if that... Nope. Oh. That's a bit of a weird effect, but sure. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll turn around. We'll see it on the other side. Oh look, it's there. Okay, that's uh, that's a bit more in space than I would have expected. And now it's not there! Oh! Maybe do I just call it there? I've just been wandering around for like a while. <laughs> Put on the. I still got the glasses on. I don't think that changes anything. I don't think it matters that you've got the glasses on. What is happening? Am I... <laughs> did... did the power going out completely like break my game? Better be careful with this. Touch it and it'll take your hand off. Why is that like floating out in space? Because you should really be able to, like... Better be careful. Touch it and it'll take your hand off. Better Touch it and it'll take your hand off. What is happening? Do I just call it? Do I just call it a stream and just go like, I'm gonna figure this out and I will come back to it. <laughs> How very odd. Because I mean, 100%, like, there's a mystery involving right there. There's a mystery right there. Um, and also while we're at it, there's a mystery involving that wall, because that wasn't rendering for some reason, and you can clearly tell it's a door as well. But the wand isn't hitting it! Okay, change the res. Hold on. Change the res, quit to DOS, load it back up. Uh, I guess I didn't really change the res, but sure. We're back here. Thing's not there. Hold on, we got the- we got the textures off. Thing is there. Spell? That's- that's hard turning the game on and off. I don't know how I could explain that anymore. I 
I don't know, man. I feel like I just want to call it here and I'll investigate later because I'm slamming my head against a brick wall. Hold on. Even better. Let's try and find Realms of the Haunting Chapter 12 guy. <laughs> like, just, I, we need to, we need to have an answer on this one. Alright, what does he do? What does he do at the beginning? He's named as Chapters. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? He just goes into the room. It, the thing's on the wall. He shoot literally the room that I was just in. Shoots that, and just goes in. And then there's another door, and he just keeps going through. So I, I'm actually being gaslit. Yeah, the game's broken and for some reason me turning it off and non didn't seem to fix it. Seriously, you can find this. Just type Realms of the Haunting Chapter 12. You'll find a video with like 68 views. And he's even chaptered it up. At 6 minutes 25, he wanders straight up to this, this exact point. And the, uh, he just shoots it. And that's it. And it's not- there's no cheats as well in this game. There's nothing you can do to like possibly go like, Oh, it was meant to work here and it just didn't decide to work. Um... Potentially? I could probably re-replace my files back? That's not something I can get done in time for the stream, so... Well, I think I'm gonna have to end on a very disappointing note after... What a very bizarre last half hour. What a very bizarre last half hour. Um... Yeah, no, I'm just wandering around being aimless. Uh, yeah, uh, that is a good point as well, because we've been saving over the save file. I mean, to be fair, most of what you spend in this game is in cutscenes as well. Like, it probably won't take more than two hours to, like, get a save to get back here, or even quicker. And it's not even like you're fighting enemies. But, yeah, no. I, I, I do hope it's not the whole save file is just, like, screwed over because of that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, with that, what a <laughs> bit of an odd ending. Uh, thanks for watching. How very odd. So if you liked this or you didn't like this, um, your reactions are probably the same as mine. Uh, you can, you can follow on Twitch, 8.30pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time on Mondays only. Uh, I, yeah, I, do. I was haunted. I was haunted by the Stone Sour song title. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you missed parts of this or you missed the part where, uh, my thing came out uh i'm gonna try and see what happens trying to salvage the recording because I, I i recorded MP, mkv so the recording's there hopefully <laughs> um but uh i'll try and salvage what i what i seem to experience then um and we'll try and chuck that one into the uh the mix so there we go uh and you can follow on uh the fetty uh m.bnd.com you can see me do silly things um hopefully well, not even hopefully i will try and fix this and i'll let you know the moment i fix this uh on the fetty so anyway stay safe eat your greens don't stay up too late uh and uh yeah whatever the heck happened here i don't know <laughs> see you fellas Woo.